We're trying to create healthy communities and healthy populations because that's the real way we create healthy individuals. We get to utilize a very diverse toolkit to address something that we should all be concerned about and that is health equity and more broadly about social justice. We address issues of basic fairness in how the social determinants of health are distributed amongst their population. I know a lot of us have heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. And the thing is, we, if we have unhealthy villages, how can we expect to have healthy children? And that's what I love about the mission of public health. For me, public health is a way to address the larger and greater issues of health that affect the population. Coming from a medical background, I saw that this would be an opportunity to affect people's health on a broader level, aside from just being limited to the clinical setting that a patient-doctor relationship provides. Growing up in the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, I noticed firsthand poverty. I was always moved by poverty, by the way the people around me were dying because of lack of health care. Public health has broadened my vision and perspective. How can we work together to help our community uh, and we can decrease the social disparities around us? Because I feel I can do something um, to help the communities that we serve. So to me, public health is not just a one-on-one, -on -one, what can we do to improve your health and well-being, even though that's an important component of it, but also what can we do to improve the health and well-being of the communities that are out there. The one I would like to address most directly is that people come thinking they need a background in biology or the biological sciences or that they're interested in a career in medicine. And that is not true for the majority of our, of our MPH applicants or our students or even for our faculty. Our faculty is composed largely of social scientists with, with some people who have core training in epidemiology and biostatistics, traditional public health areas, as well as areas like community health, health services research, economics, and a variety of other areas. In the CNY MPH program, students will be trained by doctoral level biostatisticians, epidemiologists, health service researchers, medical clinicians, social scientists, and applied public health practitioners. In addition, the diversity of the students bring a robust classroom experience. We have students from all over the world bringing their views, experience, and training that greatly enhance the classroom. So we have a very diverse um, group of students. Some of our students have just recently graduated from um, college. Uh, they come from a variety of disciplines. Some come from a, a bachelor's in public health, but uh, some come from basic science, some come from social science. We've had students come from theater, really a very, very broad background. So we, we're, we're a type of discipline and a type of program that welcomes everybody. And in fact, you're gonna spend a lot more time looking at things from a social scientific as opposed to a biological or life science perspective. What's really cool about working here in the Syracuse community is that we have such a diverse population. And because we have a diverse population, we can really do what public health does best and try to eliminate disparities in populations and um, hone in on why particular subgroups in our whole country um, may be suffering from health disparities or from health issues and how we can address those in the future. Students should choose the CNY MPH program to get their MPH degree because the faculty are committed to the success of our students. The student to faculty ratio in the CNY MPH program is low, allowing students to receive individualized attention as well as providing many opportunities to work with the faculty on research and other projects. Being able to work closely with a faculty member here who are very supportive and helpful and really serve as true mentors, not just in the academics, but whatever life throws at you. So I'm really grateful and glad that I got the opportunity to come to SUNY Upstate to be, complete my Master's of Public Health.